Well, here we are at um, 10.30 at night, and we're seems the further I get into this, the um, less progress I make every day because the um, final adjustments are just so fine. Um, so I'm here. Triangulating this right here. So it's exactly the same height as that over there, plus a half inch of cushion. And then a hinge right here and there. And then putting this right there. So I got to get this hinge arrangement together and then um, somehow measure and hold. <laughs> this up in the air measured to the right height which is why i have that mark right there um see so yeah, and then um spray paint that hole in the right position so then i can put this a little bit well, yeah it's got some wiggle room but not a whole lot didn't eat. Let me just... Sometimes I forget to eat. I just get so involved in work. Um, when I do things I'm passionate about, I really don't... Uh, get too much into eating. There we go, right here. That's, that's going to look like that. See, there's not really a lot of wiggle room. Maybe the eighth of an inch on either side. So, um, what I might have to do is, um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. If I have to wallow that hole out a little bit, hey, I wallowed a few holes out in my time. Ask any girl I've dated. <laughs> oh. Good old Leslie and Teresa Sumney. Every day after school. Yeah, anyways, yeah, um, pretty much we're down to putting this place, this piece right here to keep the front legs centered this way. And then um, that's more to keep it from falling off this way. This has the truck from keeping it going that way. But I will probably try to put something here. I'm, if I have to put um, another brace across here, I will. I don't think that my triangulation says that I do, but I will do some more measurements later here tonight. But I might be done for the night. I I, I didn't get up until 1.30 this afternoon. I was up last night till 4.30 in the morning. Um, I'll, I'll need to grind that clean a little bit. I don't like the appearance of that. Um, nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Don't want any, any small hands coming over here and getting themselves cut. Although they shouldn't be over here to begin with. They should be over there. I can't control what other people do. Uh, what, yeah. So I, 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 I might just preemptively put another brace right here. i, I got to measure it. If not, I think it's... There's, I think they're two inches wide. Um, so yeah, I'll, 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 I'm going to measure again. If I have to put one here, I'll put one here. If I have to put one there, I will. Or I might just put a piece of angle iron there. You know. Oh my God, look at the size of that bug. Yeah. And of course, the applying of the... Um... Now, I did say something before about covering this up so I might put another brace from here to there and another like a web to um, support this metal um, make it even less, less necessary for this other brace but I'll put it there just anyways because um, this sheet metal is really only like a, a 16th of an inch I don't even think it's 16th inch 
Um, I might just ch chuck that and, and go with a. I might go get a p piece of plate steel to put there. Um, again, you know, no really, there's no really such thing as overbuilding. There is, but there isn't. I mean, look at the Brooklyn Bridge. There's been, what, uh, August Rungling put that bridge up. 1860? I don't even... Um, he invented a wire rope. He had his factory right next to it. Oh, God, I should know this. I should know when the Brooklyn Bridge was built. I know the first wire was flown across with a kite, and they had a kite flying competition for children. And the first one, they get a kite and a string across. Well, then they use a thicker string and a thicker string, and then they got the first wire across. And then once they get that first wire across, they started running thousands and thousands of wires across using that initial um, support structure. I could go on about that for days and months. Uh, I love New York. Uh, just about everything about New York. I still haven't got as much underground as I want to. But anyways, I didn't drag you out here for a long, tired, dire travel about my knowledge of engineering and history. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go inside and... Um, relax my brain this is um I'm, I'm building this on the fly i didn't really so I, i'm really have to i i want this to be perfect and um empirically measured so I, I have to measure everything three or four times and then go back and forth and measure over here three or four times and then my ocd kicks in uh, where i have to go back and measure that it's, yeah i don't want i don't i don't have time for failure so if it takes longer to build this with my limited experience that's fine it's a learning curve. Again, this is the first time I've done something like this. And uh, I think that I'm doing pretty good. Um, Consider I didn't take shop class. and, and um, Well, not metal shop class. And I really did very little wood class. But I did... Um, well, I worked in a lot of shops as, as an adult. So um, I did glean a lot of experience from that. So yeah, I got this, um, cut the length right here. I did my due diligence and all this a few days ago, and um, I went back and spent 30 minutes uh, making sure, you uh, know, got my electronic protractor out and made sure this was as close to 90 degrees as I could get it, and in this case it's, um, uh, uh, 90.1 degrees and uh, 89.8 degrees over there. Close enough for what I'm doing here. We're, we're, we're not building a, a brand new BMW. Which now, after doing this, I can understand why this fucking car has cost $140,000. This is far more clump, complex than this little operation I'm doing here. And the, and the, the welding is more intricate, uh, more demanding everything I, I have new profound respect for automobile builders michael konasek my hats off to you and uh maybe i can meet you one day and uh pause my um skills up and uh, of course i'm always doing the continuing learning with the mit and stanford videos and um You, it really, if if you see me, you, my looks do not belie my intellect. My speech patterns, I, I know, are probably fairly wrecked for most people uh, because I have uh, so many ideas rushing to, to put out. And I struggle to control my pentameter at times. And um, I struggle to keep my tone even. Um, you don't know me. You really don't. And if you think you know me, you really don't know me. I never had time for my creative outlets. And this is finally one of them. Finally one. I, I'm, I'm finally creating again. That's why I like doing balloon art so much. Um, but it's, um, it gets my creative flo juices flowing. I was telling you about the flying car thing the other day. And I really... 
it was spent probably 20 years in my mind building it and um yeah it's gonna happen anywho gonna jump off here and um do what i said and then uh hopefully i'll be um i don't know i got enough money for another freezer today too So I might, I might, I might have, I don't know. Worst thing happens, I have, if I have, see what I mean? Worst thing that happens is I might have um, two big freezers um, running. Worst thing happens, I have one, the other one for a backup. So we'll see how that works. I'll, I'll, I'll keep those. Um, it might be Friday before I'm actually rolling out with a load of ice cream. Because if I get a, th a third freezer, I, I'll want to spend time w with it and, make sure that this generator can push the amperage and uh like i said if not i'll have a, i'll have a, a backup freezer or i'll just use it for a cooler for for beverages the, pro the problem is is the startup amperage but anyways i'm gonna get off here i might be on here again later on i'm not sure but talk to you whenever later